In this video, I'm going to show you the Excel Action Pen and also Ink to Shape and Ink to Math features in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. So here I am in Excel and I'm just on a laptop, but there are times when I'm on a Microsoft Surface Pro tablet or some other tablet that may have a stylus or a pen that I can use. In cases like that, sometimes I go here to the Draw tab and use some of these drawing tools. And in this video, I want to focus first on this relatively new Action Pen. I'm gonna click on the Action Pen button and I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so you can see this a little better. But with the Action Pen selected, I can either use my mouse to write on the spreadsheet. So I can just kind of click and drag to type in a word. I'm gonna make sure that O gets in there. And then Microsoft Excel converts that ink into text and it puts it inside a cell. And then when I'm done, I can click back here on this select tool and I can click and you can see that that text, hello, is inside cell C2. So that's a nice feature to be able to do that. But the action pen is even better if you have a digital pen or a stylus because then you can write out words or numbers so much faster and easier. And once you've finished writing that out, Excel converts it into typed text. Of course, you could do the same thing with numbers. So I think this action pen has a lot of great possibilities. While we're in the draw tab, I want to point out that we also have ink to shape and ink to math. So for these to work, there's a couple things you can do. For example, you can click on one of these pens. I'm just gonna go with this pen and I'll draw a triangle. And I think that's a pretty good triangle. But if I want it to be perfect, all I have to do is go up here to the drawing tools and choose this lasso select tool. And then click and drag to draw a circle more or less around my shape. It highlights it and then I can click ink to shape and it will automatically convert into a perfect triangle. Now let me try that again with a circle. Now this may turn into an oval, not a circle. Let's try it. But this time when I do the lasso select and highlight it, I want to show you that instead of coming up here to the ink to shape button, it is possible just to click this lightning bolt button and it does the same thing. So it converts it into a circle and that does look more or less like a perfect circle. This works with rectangles, it works with squares and any other really common shapes that you uh, would expect it to work with. Now, notice this one. My square, I guess, isn't quite good enough, and so it is complaining about it and uh, doesn't want to convert it. So you have to get it at least somewhat close, and I'm struggling to do that. Let's see if it works with this one. Nope, or this one. Oh, there we go. It liked this square much better than the other two. I don't understand why, but there you have it. Now we do have one other ink to or action pen item here that we can use, and that's ink to math. So if you need to put in a math symbol, you can just click ink to math and then draw out the symbol. And um, I'm not sure how good I'm doing with this, but once you've drawn that out, Excel will try to interpret it. And if it's done a good job, you can click insert and that symbol will be added to your spreadsheet. We could try writing pi. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. Insert. We can try some other math symbols as well. Tap to insert those. So while all three of these tools work a little better if you have a stylus or a pen that works with your device, or if your laptop has a touch screen, in those cases, it's extra helpful. But even if you don't have those tools or features, I hope you found this video to be helpful and you see ways to use it. Now, one quick reminder, if you are playing with these tools, it's very important that when you stop using them, that you click here on the selection tool. If you don't do that, let's just say you navigate away to the home screen and you click and you wanna start using Excel, it's gonna be pretty difficult to do that with the mouse because you're still in the draw tools. So I need to go back to draw, click, and then I'm gonna select the select tool. Now, if I navigate away from the drawing tools, 
Excel is working as expected. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. But you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll find information about those options in the description below the video. But we'd love to have you as part of our learning community here on YouTube. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to give a quick shout out to my super techie and ultra techie channel supporters. Thank you so much for the support you give to the channel. Really appreciate it.